Hey now, hey now, look who's moving out and moving on up to the east side. Yes, Miss Nene Leaks is putting or has put up her home for sale. And at first I thought like, Dad, Greg just died in September. What is she doing? Why is she moving so fast, so far, so fetched? What is going on with Nene? I know her whole thing or her whole new anthem is she's by herself. She's all alone. She has to get into her new normal, being a single woman again or a widowed woman. And she feels like she's not here nor there these days. So at least that's what I'm guessing. But I think it's more to the situation. Personally, I think Nene has probably been a bit out more than she could chew. And before Greg got sick, I believe she was, you know, trying to figure out how she was going to pay for all this stuff. Because all of her wealth and avenues of resources of trying to make more money in the entertainment field hadn't been so overflowing lately. But... I think that the Lanithia Lounge has definitely been getting a lot of backlash about she wanting people to pay for parking in a parking lot that's designated free parking. She hadn't had a lot of good patrons at her Lanithia Lounge that have been really satisfied with some certain services. I mean... It's just been a lot, a lot for Miss Lanithia Leaks. And if I was a bidding woman, I would say she's going to move from Atlanta to probably L.A., New York, or Baltimore. Baltimore, I'm thinking, because I think she had a fling up there of some sort. She was supposed to be dating some man up there, and, you know, that was just all rumor. And he said it was her friend, but I don't know, child. Or she might be going up there to hang with Wendy Williams. Because Wendy Williams sure need her help, honey. They pretty much in the same boat. They both depressed. They both up in the air with their careers. And whew, it's just a sad, sad case all the way around. But I could see her going up to New York. Hanging out with uh, Wendy. And getting that type of lifestyle in. And then she could head back to Hollywood. Hollywood! He's on, she's on the way, something, something, something. Invited to a happy Hollywood, something, I don't know. I think it's Shaka Khan, child, it's on that song. I can't really think of it right now. But yes, Hannah Lanithia done put her house up for sale. And she better use that money wisely. Me, per se, I would go get me a townhouse, secluded, you know, for, um, uh, you know, I'm sure they have some townhouses here in Atlanta or anywhere she chooses to want to live in a gated community. And she can kind of live like a senior citizen. You know what I'm saying? She don't really need no house. She don't have no kids. Her kids are grown. And since she bought her eldest son a home, I believe she's going to have to do the same for her younger baby. Or at least give him the money and he decide what he want to do with it. But at least he can't say his mama didn't try to set him up before she dashed off into the sunset with some other man. Okay, because then he's not going to go without having her male companionship. Now, whether she get married again, probably not. Probably not. Because I guess, you know, her last words that Greg told her was to go on and live her life. Go on with her life. So, in retrospect, you have to say thank you to Greg. Because it was giving her permission to go on and do what she wanted to do. Because who needs that big ass house anyway? I mean, yeah, it's nice to host uh, events and parties and stuff like that. But since she's not on TV anymore, uh, it's really not a sociable thing you know because every money counts now i don't know if greg was investing a lot um uh, or was he in social security if he even paid into social security she was handling a lot his medical bills you know the mortgage on that house and the car notes and any other type of 
fees she was paying. And now I can feel I can see I can feel her not wanting to have all that burden on her. I mean, who's gonna live in there? I think it's a seven bedroom home. Very beautiful. But you know, it ain't really none of my business. I'm just speaking on it, okay? Cause I know everybody else is out there speaking on it. And since I had this platform, I thought I was going to speak on it too. But Nene's revenue was probably not matching up with her expenses being brought out each month. And she has the little lounge club setting she has. That has to be paid for. Staff have to be paid for. I bet she don't even have Lanithia Lounge. Um... Because I'm pretty sure she's leasing that building. She has the club in because it's in a parking lot. And all of those businesses are leased. So, I wouldn't be surprised if she let that go. And uh, just go get her head together in some other state. And, and, and try to rethink about getting in back into the show business world. I hope she don't get that idea of becoming a comedian. Because Nene's not funny. She's not funny at all. Um... Uh, far as getting up there in front of people and trying to get them to laugh at your jokes or your commentary that you're putting out there on the spot and uh i don't know i know a lot of people gonna be saying she can't afford it she can't afford it she can't afford it i ain't gonna say that because i don't know what she might got a lot in her bank account but i understand her she's a businesswoman too why would she live in a seven bedroom house and it's just her at the end of the day, when everybody's gone, living their lives, and this, that, and third, it's just her and her youngest son there. And he's grown. He should really be trying to get his own spot, becoming the man that I'm sure his dad would have wanted him to grow into. And, you know, get his own family started. Because Nene, she's still young. She's not put out the pasture. She was 53, 54, something like that. And she has a lot of years left, God willing. And she can definitely downsize that. Get her in a condo, get a, get in a condominium type of living for, you know, people around her age, gated community. Because she's going to probably be doing a lot. She's going to have her management team try to get her bookings here, there, and everywhere. You know, so she don't really need the upkeep of a house, a house, period. Even if it was in a mansion and she just wanted to go get, you know, maybe a two or three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar home. For what? I'm sure she's not going to be there if she's trying to get that money, that coin. She's going to probably be living out of suitcase more than likely because she's going to need her revenue. She's going to need her retirement stuff to be looking forward to. So, I'm like, go on and do you, Nene. Go on and do you, girl. I ain't mad at you. And whatever money you do got saved up, you don't need to be putting it in that mansion. Honey, sell that mansion, get you something, like I said. And you'll be still being able to travel, being able to go and get into other uh, business adventures. And, uh, and, you know, and maybe acting, you know, getting part of TV, the TV scene again. Who knows what you can get yourself into since it's just you. You don't have to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about your mama. You got to worry about your daddy. You ain't got to worry about your husband. They're obsolete at this time. You know what I'm saying? So you just have you. You have a second wind at life to go and do all the things that you probably didn't get a chance to do because you were married. And uh, that prevented you to, you know, do a lot of stuff or whatever. Because, you know, you and Greg got sick and you had to become his caretaker. And that could be very daunting and stressful. So I just think you need to take the rest of this year, maybe half of next year. Because if you sell that house for four point two million is what you're asking, girl, that's right. Get that money, pack it back, and just go live somewhere cheap for a while. Nice, gated, but cute. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't going to be there anyway. And, you know, I know you're broken and everything, but life do goes on. You don't have a lot of time wasted on grieving. And to tell you the truth, we got it backwards as human beings. When people go out this world, we should be praising, being joyful, you know, throwing a party. Uh, because we're wishing them well. They don't have to stay in the turmoil, the chaos, the hell that we are here on earth. You know, uh, being a part of every day. Especially with the Ovid out there. So he is blessed, okay? To be asking from us to be present with the Lord. But we uh, celebrate a child coming into the world. And all the hell they're going to have to go through. All the racism, the discrimination. You know, just a lot of crazy stuff that society leaders put out here for the negative. 
and some people or some culture or races don't get the full benefit of the American dream. Okay. Because we have those things such as racism, discrimination, uh, discriminating against genders for whatever reason. It's just a lot. And it's, the world has just become very, very stressful. So, but I have my share. Let's go on and see what Love B. Scott had to write up on her um, vlogging site. She wrote some commentary about Miss Lanithia Leakes coming out here selling her mansion, honey. She titled her thing uh, or her commentary. Nene Leakes puts Georgia Mansion on market for $4.1 million. Ooh, I was wrong. I said four point two, so it's four point million. And these photos I'm showing y'all are the latest is what she was able to show people dot com that came in her home and she invited them to take a tour and I'm sure they paid her for it too. But um the home that her and Greg shared. And I don't know. I'm kind of leery about folk dying in their houses. And then some people want to move into it. You know, like the spirit might still be there. Or something. I don't know. So I'm like, I don't know if I out front want to buy somebody's house. I know somebody just died in it. But that's just my hang up. Other people may see it totally different. And that's fine. But y'all yeah, need, need to be saving all her money. And spending it wisely. And getting rid of that mansion is a very good step in the right direction. Okay. But going back to the article, it says Nene Leakes is moving from the Georgia mansion she shared with her late husband, Greg Leakes. According to property records, she puts the home on the market for $4 million. The five-bedroom, seven-bath property sprawls across a staggering 9,791 square feet and is nestled in the Duluth area of Gwinnett County, roughly 20 miles from Atlanta. Nene and Greg reportedly purchased a home as a shell in 2015 for $2.1 million and transformed the abode into a Mediterranean palace with West Coast vibes. Greg lost his years long battle with colon cancer last month at the age of 66 and told Nene before his death that she must move on once he passed. I said, well, Nene, sidebar, I don't know if Greg was telling you to move on out the house, though, but I'm pretty sure y'all had that conversation prior to him getting real sick or whatnot, and he knew the stress that you were under and the whole, uh, the bills that you were trying to, you know, make sure you got paid, especially with his medical benefits and stuff of that nature. And it was just draining on you. And, you know, I'm sure Nene was uh, fussing about the rent, the high rent and all this, that, and there. So, I'm sure it was a calculated move that she was going to be doing this after Greg had become deceased. Or, you know, if he had got put back in remission, I don't think they would have stayed in that house. I think they would have downsized to something smaller anyway. Uh, especially when you ain't got no good revenue stream coming in monthly. And then when they took her off Real Housewives of Atlanta, that was very detrimental and damaging to her financial account, I'm sure. But going back to the article, it says, uh, located on a golf course in a gated community, the massive lot also boasts incredible landscaping with lush trees lining the property. Ample light abounds throughout the home, which includes a grand staircase for you and exposed second story the kitchen features a 10 foot tall cabinetry viking appliances marble countertops and an oversized island a second full shelf kitchen was also built into the other side of the home perfect for entertaining any number of guests the primary suite includes a fireplace uh, freestanding tub and matching vanities perhaps the most impressive room is the walk-in closet complete with glass doors, built-in jewelry cases, shoe racks, mirrors, and much more. The resort-style main-level walkout pool has an amazing waterfowl features, accompanied by a full wrap-around covered patio. Elaine Richardson with Atlanta Fine Homes, so Sophie's International Holster Listing. Okay, and that's A1 Top Cream of the La Crumb. Okay, for the rich folks. For the rich and elite folks in Georgia. <laughs> Okay, selling the property for Miss Leaks. Okay, they probably give you champagne when you come out there. Of course, they have to probably check your credentials to see if you even need to be led in the gated community. 
okay so i'm sure you have to be like pre-approved for the lawn before you even get to go see inside those mansions okay but anyway that's just my side point going back it says nene leaks starred on the real housewives of atlanta for for a number of years before participating in the celebrity apprentice and dancing with the stars greg her husband of more than 20 years lost his battle with colon cancer on september 1st at the age of 66 See there, y'all, September 1st, and here we are, October 1st. And she don't put that house on sale. I'm like, she wasn't wasting no time, was she? Greg ain't got coal in the grave yet. She already uprooting everybody. But that's just my sidebar. Wasn't in the article. Going back, it says the last five days before his passing was really beautiful. Then he told people all of his children were there. His best friends were there. Our closest friends were there. We all sat with him around the clock. We talked a lot and we made peace with what was happening, she added. She recalled one of their final conversations where he assured her that he wasn't going to leave her and that God was going to continue blessing her. He said he wanted me to move on with my life, Nene added. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star shared that it has been a difficult adjustment without her love, especially after she upended her life to care for him after his cancer diagnosis in 2018 it was difficult she admitted greg had a lot of things in our life there were some things i didn't know some of the things some of the simple things i didn't even know who the long guy was i was having to qu- ask him questions like that now nene sidebar if you're paying for a baby you need to know who they are are they bonded and are they reputable okay and the cost is a factor too because i ain't paying you out the bazooka to landscape my yard each what's it twice a month mm, that's that's gonna be very expensive but going back to the article it says we can imagine living in that big house without greg would be difficult if we were her we've moved too okay so like now some people don't move some, some people say right there where they want to stay you know husband or no husband or uh, if the wife died wife or no wife we're gonna stay there especially if you pay for the house i think nene is still making payments but that's just my uh, opinion uh not necessarily the truth but i'm sure unless she sell off some of her clothes and some of her shoes and some of her jewelry i don't know where she would go to host all that stuff and like i said she is in her middle 50s so i wouldn't really see her going back out to get back in debt with another 4.2 million dollar home i just don't see it it doesn't make sense it's not a a good business move especially if she still want to be a part of the limelight the who's who and you really don't need all of that you really don't especially if you're trying to travel as well for your career you don't need that okay you just need a good set of luggage some good comfortable shoes um and a good handy uh pillow because you'll probably she'll probably on that plane a lot too going in and out trying to make uh appearances and things of that nature but that's all i had on this uh coming out of nini's putting her home up for sale uh a month in of her husband dying and like i said i don't really think she's gonna stay in atlanta uh she might even have her family or her son uh the youngest one i think it's brent uh brent or something like that um to maybe manage the the lounge while she's uh looking for herself and seeing where she wants to land her feet at i don't think it's going to be georgia i could be wrong but i don't think so i think she's going to either move to baltimore or she's going to go back to la uh, where I guess she could start acting again or, or being um, in that area of town um, by relocating so she can have better opportunities than have to, have to you know, go from here, from Atlanta to New York or from Atlanta to California. Go, you know, just that's too much. So she can definitely, definitely be in the Hollywood line right now since greg is no longer her um person or she has to uh think about first before she make money moves but that's all i have if you like love this video continue to watch them share them out 
and subscribe to my channel and plus like the video people like the video it gets the algorithm going when you share and you like the video all right but i'll see y'all for next video get down in those comments y'all tell me y'all thoughts about what nini is doing do you think she's moving too fast uh not really thinking about it or you think it's already was a calculated move she was just waiting to do it uh in her own time frame and when it presented itself um for her to do but that's all i got i'll see y'all next video peace